we are going to be starting with the front part and going to bring out that zipper fly that we folded in when we are cutting for the back pattern now i'm just going in to mark the back side of this fabric now on this zipper fly area you want to go in with a very loose stitch just from the waist point to just the zipper fly area going with a loose stitch then the crush curve point you want to go in with a normal stitch okay i hope you understand now from just this point is a loose stitch then this curved pass down here is a normal stitch so make sure to just back stitch before you switch into the normal stitch okay the reason we are using a loose stitch at this zipper fly area is because we are still going to loosen this out when we are done fixing in our zipper okay now just go ahead to flip this to the back and open up the two zipper fly areas now i'm going to be using this white zip just so you guys understand what i am doing very clearly place the zip to the middle point of the two zipper flies right sides facing each other so guys this method is very very straight to the point so basically what you want to do is fix the zipper Fix the right tape of the of the zipper to the right zipper fly very close to that middle seam so that loose stitch you used to hold in the two zipper fly is very close to it then the left tape of the zip fix it to the middle point of the left zipper fly okay so i'm going to explain again you can see where i am pinning this i am pinning the right tape to the right zipper fly and this is very close to the middle seam holding the two zipper flies you can see i am checking to make sure that it's very close to that middle seam then i'm going to head to stitch this and you can see what it's looking like make sure to place like this when you are fixing on your sewing machine you are fixing only to the zipper fly and not to the short now the left tape of the zip i am going to be pushing this to the middle point of the left zipper fly very far away from that middle seam holding the two zipper flies you can see how i am pushing this further away from the middle seam and i'm just going in to pin this first then go in and stitch this okay so you basically want to stitch one side of the zip to one zipper fly very close to the middle seam and stitch the other side of the zipper to the other zipper fly very away from the middle seam so you can see this is just in the middle of the zipper fly and this other one is just very close to the middle seam okay hope you understand now you can see what it is looking like one stitch is in the middle the other stitch is very far away from the middle like to the middle of the left zipper fly now the next thing you want to do is turn your shorts to the front and start marking out your crush curve again just like we did in the beginning you can see i'm marking out my crush curve from the center front of the two pieces so now we're going to be following this line to stitch in your zipper fly we're going to be stitching this from the front and it has to be very neat so you want to go ahead and mark out that line if you are a beginner so you're going to start fixing the right zipper fly to the short and when you get down to this curvy area you will go in to place the left and the right zipper flies together and stitch the both of them together just at that curved area okay now from the beginning part from the waist point down before the curvy area is just the right zipper fly you are stitching to the right piece of the short then at that curvy area down there you want to go into bringing the left zipper fly to the right zipper fly and stitch everything together you can see what it is looking like so guys that's basically it for how to fix in a zipper fly using this method now just go into losing that loose stitch we used to hold the both zipper flies in the beginning you can see i'm loosening this out and yeah just go into open my zip close it back and you wouldn't see my white zipper everything is enclosed everything is looking neat so yeah i'm going to give myself a 9.5 over 10 just to not be too perfect <laughs> yeah so now the next thing we are going to do is to stitch in the crush curve of this back shot okay i'm gonna head to stitch in just that crush curve area you can see now we are going to be placing the front piece on this back piece and we are going to be holding this by the sides and also at the middle area so i'm just going into i'll just go in to pin this together make sure that everything aligns properly before i go in to stitch it all up
so guys i'm just going in now to stitch this together on my sewing machine so i am done i'm just going to go ahead and flip this to the right side and we are just going to go in now to fix our band so guys you can see what this shot is looking like and that zipper fly area everything is just looking so neat so beautiful now for the band we are going to be measuring the roundness of this waist okay we're going to be taking the round measurement of the waist go ahead and open up your zip and just measure from one side of the waist to the other side of the waist just round it to get the measurement of the waist now when you are done with this go ahead and cut this out on your band so i'm going ahead to cut this out and you can see what it is looking like please do not mind how i went in to iron in my stay i don't even know what's going on but just don't mind how rough this band is okay just focus on learning you know <laughs> so now what we're going to do is to fix in our band so i am taking the outer part of the band and fixing this to the outer part of the shorts so you can see how i am placing this i am taking the outer part of the band fixing this to the outer part of the short right sides facing each other i'm just going to go in to start from the center front of the shorts and the center front of the band to start pinning this so i will pin from one center front to the end and from the center front to the other end okay So guys, I'm done and I'm just going in now to stitch this all together on my sewing machine. So guys, I've gone ahead to stitch this and you can see what it is looking like. Okay, this is just the outer part of the band to the outer part of the short. Now for the inner part of the band, you want to go in to just place it like so, folding in the allowance, everything in between the band and the short. Then just go in to pin this right on top this gives you a very neat finishing when you are done fixing in your band you don't see the excesses or you don't need to trim out any allowances okay just go in now to fold in the allowances inside and just go in to do a top stitch right on top of the band So guys i'm just going in to stitch the top stitch right in so i am done with top stitching the band and you can see what it is looking like this looks so neat this looks so beautiful i mean you can see what it is looking like and that's basically it for how to quickly fix in a zipper fly this is not really a professional method it's just a quick diy yeah and hope you learned something new today and if you are yet to subscribe do subscribe now and join the family learn new tutorials see you on the next one bye